What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and once again it is that time of year. Guys, Wrestlemania is right around the corner and this is my official predictions video once again with my dog, Woody. So, ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe how quick it has come round this year. This video is going to be split into two parts. One video, two parts. Night one predictions, night two predictions. I will be watching both shows live, so be expecting live reaction videos after the shows have already finished. Guys, without further ado, let's get into night one, match one. Let's do it. Kicking things off, we have a match that not many people care about, including myself. Don't get me wrong, I think it's going to be okay. I'm just not really that invested in the story. Shane McMahon versus Braun Strowman in a steel cage match. I've got Braun going over. Woody, how about you? Next up, we have the Raw Tag Team Championships being defended. The New Day defending their titles against AJ Styles and Omos. Omos making his WWE official debut in ring. And uh, will AJ Styles finally become a Grand Slam champion in the WWE? Yes, I think so. Omos is an absolute beast. I think they're going to strap a rocket to his back, give him a championship on his debut. The New Day are going to lose. Would he? What do you think? Next up, we have a match that I think will steal the show for night one, or potentially steal the show on night one. There's two show stealers here. Oh no, three. But anyway, Cesaro versus Seth freaking Rollins. Now, I normally never bet against my man, Seth Rollins. However, I think this could be a great opportunity for Cesaro to finally get a push. I think Cesaro's going to beat Rollins here and then at Money in the Bank, whether that's next month, the month after, I don't know, Cesaro's going to win the Money in the Bank briefcase. That is my prediction. Early Money in the Bank predictions right now. Cesaro to beat Rollins. Woody, do you agree with me? Next up, we have a match that has been updated after what happened on Raw. Bad Bunny and Damian Priest taking on Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey, ho, ho. There's no way, unfortunately, that Miz and Morrison are winning here. I think Morrison's going to eat the pin. Damian Priest is going to make the pin. Uh, yeah, I think they really booked themselves into a corner by doing Bad Bunny versus The Miz as a singles match. Uh, no, maybe Morrison could get pinned by Bad Bunny, but it'll be Damian Priest's move that does it. But either way... Bad Bunny and Damien Priest to retain. Woody, what's your thoughts? Next up, we have a match that should theoretically be the main event. And, you know, I kind of hope they still put it on last. The SmackDown Women's Championship. Bianca Belair, the Women's Royal Rumble winner, taking on the champion, Sasha Banks. Guys, it's obvious. And do you know what? I think WWE could swerve us here like they have done previously and have Banks retain. But I don't see it happening. Everyone is betting on Bianca, including me. Bianca Belair will be your new SmackDown Women's Champion. Woody, what do you think? And finally, what everyone's saying is going to be the main event of WrestleMania, the WWE Championship match, or night one, I should say. Bobby Lashley defending the title against Drew McIntyre. Now, guys, WWE may put this on last, but if you want my opinion, I think this should go on first. If you're wondering why... Guys, WWE recently moved the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal to SmackDown on Friday. And the reasoning for that is because I don't think they want to put matches on the kickoff show because whoever has the first entrance at WrestleMania is going to be the first entrance in over a year with a crowd, a live crowd. It's a big, big deal. 
And no one deserves to have that entrance more than Drew McIntyre. He has carried the Thunderdome era. He's carried the pandemic era of WWE. He deserves to be the first man out in front of a crowd. That's why I think this should go on first. However, it's the main event on most of the websites, so I'm putting it as the main event anyway. In an ideal world, Banks and Belair to main event, my night one. McIntyre and Lashley to open, but I'm getting out of the way. Anyway, what do I think is going to happen? These two have faced before. I'm going with the same result. Drew McIntyre is walking out of WrestleMania 37, the new three-time WWE champion. And that's it for night one, guys. Let's move on to night number two. Kicking off night two of WrestleMania 37, we have the United States Championship match. Riddle defending against the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. Now, guys, I've got Sheamus going over. Now, realistically, guys, I thought we were getting McIntyre versus Sheamus for the title at WrestleMania back, like, at Elimination Chamber, and that's not happening now. And I'm not going to lie to you, I know Sheamus has been in the game a long time. Sheamus knows that this thing's happened, but... I think he's been done a bit dirty. Uh, I genuinely think he's been done a bit dirty. You know, he was he was in the main event picture for the last few months, and now he's not straight up. He's he's nowhere near. So I think, give him that match against Riddle, give him the United States Championship once again. It's been about ten years since he last held it. So Sheamus is going to beat Riddle at WrestleMania and become the new United States Champion. Do you agree, Woody? Let me know. Next up, we have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn going at it one more time. It's been a long time. It's been about five years since these two last went one-on-one, -on -one, I believe. And uh, will Logan Paul be interference? I don't know. We'll see. I think maybe we could see a Mike Tyson-esque uh, thing where Logan Paul comes in and attacks Sami Zayn and sides with Kevin Owens. I don't know. But either way, guys, I've got Kevin Owens going over. How about you, Woods? Next up, we have the Intercontinental Championship being defended. The champion, Big E, defending against Apollo Crews and I believe a Nigerian drum fight. I don't know what this is going to be. And uh, Apollo Crews is really on a tear at the moment, guys. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Apollo Crews is going to become the new Intercontinental Champion. It's a big, risky prediction, but I think Big E is ready to drop the Intercontinental Championship and go after the Universal Champion, whoever that may be after WrestleMania. I think it's time. You've proved yourself as a mid cardery You can do it in the main event. Apollo Crews to win, Big E on to better things. What do you think, Woody? Next up, we have The Fiend, The Burned Fiend, Bray Wyatt taking on Randy Orton. Now, I was a bit disappointed to find out that this isn't going to be a cinematic match. I quite would have liked to have seen a sequel to the Firefly Funhouse match just this time with Randy, uh, but that's not going to happen. I've got The Fiend going over, of course. I don't think it's going to go on very long. Burned Fiend is going to destroy Randy Orton. Next up, we have the Raw Women's Championship match. Rhea Ripley taking on the champion, Asuka. The story to this is basically, I want your championship. It's as simple as that. Mania storylines don't always have to be crazy, guys. Rhea wants the championship. Is she going to get it? I think she is. Rhea Ripley to go over. What do you think, Woody? And finally... The main event of WrestleMania 37. The main, main event. This is the last match on both nights. This is the main, main, main event. They say there's two main events. There is. But theoretically, there's one. And it's this. The Universal Championship Triple Threat Match. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Although the storyline is going for it. I was gutted to find out that we're not getting that Edge versus Roman one-on-one -on -one match. Because I think for the first time in a long time... We really 
wouldn't have known who was winning that match. And now, you know, we still don't know. But one thing's for certain in my mind, Brian's the one that's losing. He's the one taking the pinfall, whether that be Edge pinning Brian or Reigns pinning Brian. Now, I thought long and hard about this one. I think if Edge wins, it really works with his story. I think it really shows, you know, it's 10 years to the day since he retired. Edge winning the Universal Championship will be fantastic and I want to see it. But am I predicting it? I'm really torn and guys, it's up until I press record. I still don't know what I'm going to say. Roman Reigns has been so protected this last year. And it's the fact that Brian's in the match that's making me lean more towards this way. Guys, the winner of the Universal Championship match at WrestleMania will be the Rated R Superstar Edge. That's my final prediction. I have got Edge going over, Spear pinning Daniel Bryan to become the Universal Champion. And there you go, guys. That was my WrestleMania 37 Night 1 and Night 2 predictions. I hope you enjoyed. Guys, once again, I will be doing live reactions for both nights. Anyways, it's this weekend, guys. I will see you then. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your predictions in the comment section down below, and I will see you at WrestleMania.